Hey guys, how's it going out there? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. We're here with episode numero quattro, number four, ready to take on some more missions for Tony Cipriani today, who we met up with for the first time in the last episode. If you haven't seen that already, be sure to check that one out, but otherwise, guys, it's good to have you back. And why don't we go ahead and start off things today by jumping head on into the first mission. Taking out the laundry, uh, a taking out the laundry, yeah. So the laundry won't pay any protection, huh? The triads think they can mess with me. There's something wrong with your business model when it relies on laundry mats. Yes, ma. Someone's a mama's boy. Laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. Okay, okay, boss. Whatever you say. Can supply you with what you're gonna need. Good old eight ball. All right, time to go screw around and have a little bit of fun with the triad. Time to teach them a lesson, Claude Speed style. God damn though, Tony Cipriani, you went to shit in the last couple years. A couple people were actually talking about that in the comments of my last video. How uh, in Liberty City Stories, Tony Cipriani is a pretty fit guy, and yet he turns into a tub of lard by this game. And the same thing with Vic Vance in Vice City Stories. By the time he gets to Vice City, he doesn't even look like the same guy. It's like the very first moment these guys get even the tiniest bit of success, they just go and hit the buffet line to celebrate. I don't know, all I'm saying is one of these days we're gonna get a Grand Theft Auto game where we take some missions from Claude Speed, and he'll have gone to shit ever since this game. Anyway, we got this Triad van up here to mess around with, so let's go ahead and fill him with lead. That's what you get for loading your food with MSG, and for using lead-based paint in all of your products. And wow, I just noticed that the van actually says Mr. Wong's on it. That's great. I guess these guys picked the Wong day to be driving around on these streets. Ow. I know, I should totally do stand-up, right? I'm totally considering just adding a laugh track to all my really bad puns and jokes. Make it more like a sitcom. Be the Jerry Seinfeld of Let's Plays. I've never actually bothered to watch that show. I can never get through the opening segments of that show where he's kind of like doing his stand-up thing in the little nightclub bar thing. Because it's always just so cheesy and ridiculous, like the jokes he tells are so over-the-top bad. And I kind of get that that's supposed to be the point of those segments, but it's like, dude... Airplane food, what's the deal with that stuff? But anyway, enough about bad sitcoms, let's go ahead and take out this truck. I guess he did the wrong thing by trying to mess with Tony Cipriani, ha <laughs> Oh god, I hate myself. Oh, so, on top of at the end of the last episode, how I realized there isn't a map in this game, which I still find so ridiculous. Um, since I'm playing on the PC, I may actually look for a mod that'll allow me to use an in-game map. Because I just can't get used to that. My first instinct anytime I'm lost or trying to find my way around is to pull up the, the in-game map. And so not having that is just... I, I can't believe that people can play this game that way. I didn't realize what a luxury it was to have that in games like San Andreas and Vice City, but now I really want it back. Okay, come on, take this guy out. Yes! And he's just gonna drive off and we're gonna see him blow up right there. Cool beans, 20 grand! I really love how much money they give you in missions in this game. It's the one thing I really enjoy. Just seeing that dollar total skyrocket. I'm just gonna make my way back to Tony. But um, like I was saying, besides realizing that there's no in-game map, I also realized you can't bail out of cars while you're driving. Like, you actually have to stop in order to get out of a car. You can't bail out at high speeds like you can in Vice City and San Andreas. It's like, what's the deal with that? Oh, well, that's nice. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass, but don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Cipriani? Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Okay, I'm liking the whole Tony's mom thing, but I really think they should have done something different with her voice. Like, if I was writing the script or casting somebody to talk as her, I would probably pick someone with, like, a really gruff, like, chain smoker voice. Like, uh, <laughs> Hey, Tony! Tony! You never call. You never write. Where's my coffee? Look at you, Tony. You're getting so fat. You got the diabetes. You know that's what's wrong with this generation. They keep eating. Just stuffing their face with garbage. Tony! <laughs> okay, I think that's about as far as I can go with that one. 
And good thing, too, because it looks like we're here at the mission point. I totally missed what we we're supposed to be doing, but I guess I'm grabbing this briefcase. Why the hell not? Oh, great. We got some triad. Well, they're all bringing baseball bats. That can't be good for them. Oh, yeah. Guess what, guys? It's a trap. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, that's not nice. Wow, I love how he tripped after he pulled me out of the car. Okay, you know what, guys? Let me introduce you to Mr. Shoddy. If I can just get away for a second here. Now then, shotgun, triad. Triad, meet shotgun. Yep, just mowing down these guys. Now, where's that guy with the pistol? He's the one who's really pissing me off. Is he trying to get away in my car? Really? Really, buddy? You think you can do that? Really? Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? This is not going very well. Just barely made it out of that one alive. Looks like there's still one guy left. Maybe if I just blow up this van. Come on, come on, come on. Crap. Oh my god, is that guy still alive? Seriously? Oh shit. Okay, got rid of you. Crap, I totally got one level two now. Oh shit. Okay, let's get out of here before stuff really gets bad. Um, was that it? Did we just get back to Tony now? That ain't too hard. I gotta say, guys, and I know that these early missions are always easy in Grand Theft Auto, but especially in this game, the early on missions are really, really easy. I haven't really had any difficulty with any of them yet. Uh, let me stop here and grab some health first, though, because those guys really took a big chunk out of my health. But, um, I don't know. I've been blazing through these first opening missions. Somebody mentioned to me that I'm actually close to unlocking the second island, um, or the second half of the game map or whatever. I don't even know if that's true necessarily because I haven't played the game for myself, but, um... I mean, it just seems like it's going by really quickly. These missions are really, really fast and they're not that difficult. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Maybe I'm just having a run of really good luck right now. But, okay, let's go ahead and do another mission for Tony over here. Because I just love ever so much interacting with his mother. Don Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Joey Wheeler. And Ouija! So we gotta get the Don, Joey, Wheeler, and Ouija! Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. Okay, sounds good. So, wow, we're basically getting the whole gang together here. We're picking up a bunch of the mafioso guys. I guess now we'll also be introduced to Salvatore Leone for the first time, the head of the Leone family. So, why don't we go ahead and do that right now. Oh shit, Tony, why'd you put a car alarm on here? I thought I could just take his car whenever I wanted. Well, that's great, so I start off the mission with a wand level. Beautiful. I'm really digging this. It's reminding me a lot of The uh, the Sopranos. I was really big on that show when it was first airing episodes, so... I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's giving me that same kind of vibe. Alright, let's go ahead and park our car here. And hopefully they got a better ride for us to pick all these guys up in. Ooh, a swank limo. Buckle up, Teddy. Damn, Joey looks dressed to kill. Hopefully not me. Alright, let's go grab the rest of these dudes. Oh man, you know what flashbacks I just got from another video game? Uh, Mafia. The original Mafia. I've never played Mafia 2, but um... I remember playing the original Mafia on the PS2. Now that game had an awesome story. Um. Honestly, the gameplay wasn't the greatest. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was about average, a little bit above average, I guess, in some respects. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot of free roaming or anything like that. It was very much story and mission based. But boy, did that have a great theme going for it. I mean, the whole mobster thing just, it was executed so beautifully. Every cliche you could possibly want. And I don't know, there was something about that game that it really captured the essence of being like a 1920s gangster really, really well. Um, probably one of my favorite mobster-related video games, for sure. But um, I'm kind of hesitant to try the sequel to it, just because I feel like there's no way it could live up to it. And I've seen some videos of it, and I just get the feeling that I wouldn't enjoy it nearly as much as the original. But, um, yeah, Mafia, I forget, I think it had a tagline with it, too, like City of Angels or something like that. It was a really great game. I mean, knowing me, I might have already mentioned this before in one of my other Let's Plays, but it's worth mentioning again, just because it really is a worthwhile game to check out. Alright, time to see the big man. Oh, never mind, this is just going to be Tony Cipriani, I think. We still have yet to pick up Salvatore Leone. That's the guy I'm really waiting to see. 
because I want to see how different he looks in this game compared to when I played San Andreas a while back. Yeah, Tony, you just take your damn sweet time getting over here, waddling on over. Oh, crap. Okay, we got intruders. Oh, shit. Whoa. For some reason, I didn't realize the cutscene had ended there. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. How many of them are there? Okay, this is not good. This is like a destruction derby. Crap. We gotta get the hell out of there. Wow. Okay, now I really wish I didn't have the limo. I thought it was gonna be cool, but now that I know that I gotta outrun these guys... Oh, shit, are you kidding me? Okay, time to just run him over. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, I know Salvatore Leone is up on this hill. Um, I remember this area from the original... Uh, or, I'm sorry, not the original, but from Liberty City Stories. This is the original. But okay, are we good? Drop off the babies? Oh, no, I gotta stay in the car, my bad. Okay, now do we meet the Don himself? Real good. Come on, let's introduce you to the Don. Hey, Louis, oh my god, oh my god, Salvatore Leone, that's awesome. It's so damn cool seeing him again. Tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? Here's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? <laughs> yeah, about Your that. Father, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. There's this girl, Tony. Misty. She's a prostitute, but I think Tony I can get her to change her ways, Pop. She's a great woman, you know. Strong. Firenze. She's good. Fine. Terrific. Terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Sweet. God damn, I love working for the Dawn. Okay, this just got a whole lot more awesome. Um, why don't we go ahead and do one mission for him? We got a little bit of time left. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this thing. Okay, chaperone. So basically what I've been doing in every single mission. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Wait, you have a girl? And here she is. Well, hot damn. Ura, ura, ura. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was. I bet it cost me money. Oh, I'd run that tab up all night long. Ow. Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She oh, trust me. I'll be watching her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, when Salvatore said he had a girl, who else thought it would have been hilarious if Misty had walked out? They missed such a great opportunity there. How freaking awkward would it be if Misty just trotted on out of Salvatore's bedroom? That would have been great. Imagine the conversations between him and Joey after that. Pop, I can't believe you slept with my girlfriend. Oh my god. But okay, so we gotta drive this hoe somewhere. That's the gist of this, right? And we still drive around the limo. I thought we learned our lesson last time that when you're getting into high-speed chase, a limo isn't the best thing. I mean, style-wise, I'll give it points, but in terms of actually getting away from the baddies, not so good. Also, you may have noticed that in the last cutscene, Maria referred to our character as Fido, and um, now, of course, we know that that's a pet nickname, but back when this game first came out and Claude hadn't officially been given a name, so a lot of people just assumed that Fido was really his name, which I think is kind of silly because you had to know that was just a nickname. But um, for a long time, I know that that's what people called him until I think San Andreas is when finally uh, Catalina refers to him as Claude in that game. And so now just retroactively, we now know that his name is Claude, which I think was also the name of the main character in Grand Theft Auto 2, um, possibly the original Grand Theft Auto as well. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I know that Claude was also the name of the character in the second Grand Theft Auto game, back when it was the old school top-down style view. But yeah, I just thought that was cool, and you guys probably already know all that, but just thought I'd share that anyway, because I'm a little bit behind on the times, I don't know all this stuff. I'm a little bit tardy to the party. And on top of that, I can't seem to navigate worth a damn, I'm taking all these weird back alleys because I can't find my way around anywhere. Well, Salvatore, you want this limo back in one piece? I cannot guarantee that in the slightest. See, this is the exact time I would love to have an actual map. And yes, I am going to keep beating that dead horse because it's so ridiculous that they haven't included that. Ugh, I'll get over it. I'm just lucky that I have beaten Liberty City Stories before in the past, and so I remember a little bit of the area. 
you know, just enough to be able to navigate right now. Um, but most of my knowledge is about this half of the game world. Once I get over to, uh, was it Stanton Island, I think? Once I get over there, I think I'm just hopelessly screwed. Wait, I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing? What do you want me to do, bitch? Like, read a book? Actually, you know what? Hold on a second, guys. Um, yeah, okay, right here. I have A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This is from one of the English classes I took last semester. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. Chapter 1. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was, oh shit, the popos after us. I guess they don't like Charles Dickens. Holy shit, do you just see that guy go flying? God damn. Liberty City Police Department, protecting and serving since day one. Okay, you know what, let's get rid of these guys, because they're just going to be a big pain in the ass, I can already tell. Um, oh great, we gotta get Maria back, that is just peachy. And we gotta take the limo, that's even better. Okay, bitch, get in the limousine, let's get out of here. Um, how am I going to do this? Alright, let's just floor it. Ooh, wait a second. Oh god, I want to stop and get that ammo, but um... You know, and I'm not going to take my chances on failing the mission. Man, they dropped a lot of ammo, though. I really would have liked to have picked that up. Uh, but that's fine. We got plenty of money. I don't mind buying some ammunition later. It's all good. But yeah, guys, that was your daily English lesson. You're welcome. A Tale of Two Seas is actually a really good book, though, just by the way. But I know that's definitely not why you guys watch these videos. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, God. We gotta go uphill with this thing? That's just spectacular. Wonderful. Splendid. I am just so elated right now. Can't you tell? Jeez, cop, get off my ass. You're messing with Salvatore Leone's bitch, okay? Okay, we're practically there. No worries, guys, as long as this cop doesn't try any funny business. I think we are in the clear. I kind of love how he's just out here on his own little hilltop. And, uh, well, <laughs> the limo's missing a few parts, but we got it back mostly in one piece. So, Maria, tell me, you ever hook up with anyone who's not old enough to be your grandfather? First time in a long while, and you, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. Yeah, you didn't even grope me or nothing. Oh, Maria, you will be mine in due time. All mine. Okay, well, I think now's a good time to wrap off the episode. We got a whole ton of missions in there today. Met up with Salvatore Leone, one of the baddest cats in this town. And I think that's a pretty cool way to end things off for today. So once again, guys, thank you for joining me here. My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and if you have not already subscribed to me, then please feel free to do so, and that way you can stay updated when I make new posts on my channel in the future. Otherwise, guys, thanks again, and until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!